Welcome back to Wasteland 2. So we have a bit of a thug problem in Rhodia here. I'm probably going to have to end up killing them. But let's see if we can do something a little bit more intelligent. General announcement, everybody. Just got a big order in from New Washington. Everybody will be working double shifts until it ships. Thanks. Stephen Dangler. New Washington. Where's New Washington? <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can talk our way past the tower guards. Nope, looks like they just want me to leave. Gotcha. Alright, gonna have to leave the, uh, the mayor there for a little while longer. Uh, this looks breakable. Although it's not actually lighting up as breakable, but it really looks breakable. Hmm. His name is just Pimp. A weasel-faced guy in butter-yellow leathers. He waves at you as you approach. Hello, chum. Whatever you fancy, we got it. Extra fancy. Step inside and treat yourself to the finest in adult pleasures. Try our three-legged temptress. Numerous valleys. Two crotches. No waiting. <laughs> Do you like to keep your hands busy? Then talk to Funbags Galore, the three-breasted courtesan of Kalima. Or maybe you're looking for a man who's twice the man you'll ever be. Then you need to... Then you need to... Johnny Two Fingers. Wait, then you need to? Is Johnny Two Fingers a... A verb? Then you need to Johnny Two Fingers, the five-legged gigolo. Prime numbers? Every one of them. Uh... Um... Three-legged temptress. Are, are these, like... Robotic attachments or something? Like, what? Um... Well, apparently Johnny Two Fingers has five legs, so let's see him. All the boys and girls have their rooms at the back of the casino. Head on back and say hello. Cool. This is the casino. Joey's casino. Looks like this tarp is covering up an older sign. I'll go in there in a second. I want to see what else is around here. Excuse me, Mr. Jerk. Can you spare a bullet or two? I thought the leather jerk might end up killing her. Look at these jerks. They're such... jerks. Looks like there's somebody sick inside of there. Or dying. Where is this? Or what is this? What is this building? Frankie says relax. Is this a... yeah, this is a hospital it looks like. Or at least it once was. Alright, let's see what's going on inside of here. A bare-bones clinic, a waiting room with mismatched folding chairs, an infirmary, and a surgery. The decor isn't much, but it's spotlessly clean. In the waiting room, a middle-aged couple cling to each other and stare at the curtains that hides the infirmary. A small cinderblock building painted white with a red cross on the door, painted beside the door is the word clinic. You can smell the disinfectant all the way out here. Hello. What's wrong? We got a sick boy in there and the doctor won't let us in. Why can't we see our Tom? Who's the doctor? Horde Chata is his name. He's a little funny looking, but he's always done right by this town. And this sickness though, I had never seen him so stumped. Hmm. Well, Theodore's a decent doctor, maybe I could help. 
Tell me about the sickness. Hey, rat that this illness should only hurt us farmers. Life is hard enough for us already. Only hurt the farmers? That's weird. Who's Tom? Our boy. It, it just ain't fair. First his fiancé dies just before their wedding, and now he's sick too. We were praying the doctor could help, but now... Is there anything we could do to help? I don't know what a bunch of gunslingers can do for a sick man, but if you know of a cure... Nah, you ain't the healing kind, I can tell. Well, you could get rid of the jerks that have taken over our town. If our Tom ever gets better, I don't want him living in a place run by the likes of them. We don't have a cure, but we can ask around. If you think you can help, talk to the doc. He's stumped. Alright, tell me about the jerks. The damn fool Sam, our mayor, brought him in as security against those robot people. Now we can't get rid of him. That big ape O'Biggin and his little chimp sidekick Dangler. Parasites is what they are. Ticks. You blame the mayor for this? Old Sam has a head for business, but he never had a lick of sense about people. He's to blame for all of this. I'm glad he's up on that tower. You approve of your towers being used as a gibbet? Why not? Those towers always used to give me hope when I see them from afar. But now, with them jerks crawling all over them, and the radio smashed... I don't know. I just don't know. What happened to the radio? Damn jerks smashed as soon as they came to town. Now we can't call around to see if any other town's got a cure for this sickness. Alright, these people need a lot of help. Gotta help them find the cure, gotta restore the radio, gotta drive these jerks out of town. Tell me about O'Biggin. Fat bastard ain't right in the head, but the others follow him because he'd eat him if they didn't. <laughs> what about Dangler? If you ask me, he's the brains of the outfit. He certainly ain't the heart, though. Never seen a man so cold. Alright, where's his doc? Doctor! There's Tom. Hard eight. Medical supplies that I probably should not steal because they probably need them to treat people. Do you want the patients to see this? Uh, sure. Oh, that's a body, isn't it? Did rigor mortis set in? Because his arms are just, like, outstretched and rigid. A man in a blood-stained white coat stands at an operating table, conducting an autopsy on the corpse of a little girl. Wait, what? That ain't no little girl. What the fuck are you talking about? Huh? Okay, he's doing an autopsy on the corpse of a little girl. It's a horrific sight. The child's torso is laid open and long worms trail out of incisions in her stomach and intestines. They curl on the ground in pools of bile and blood. Ew! Wait. Long worms trail out of incisions in her stomach and intestines? They curl on... A little girl? Is that a reference to a TV show? The one, I don't remember the name of it. I watched a couple episodes and didn't really like it. Uh, The one that has, like, Guillermo del Toro, who, I don't know if he, like, produced it or wrote an episode or something. It aired on FX. Uh, What the hell is it called? You know where the plane comes in and it's quarantined by the CDC or whatever? Actually, this game might have been finished before that even came out. I don't know. Anyway, what I do know is that that is not the corpse of a little girl. That is a full-grown man. Or, well, it could, I guess it could be a woman. But they're full-grown. They're definitely not a freaking child. So that's kind of... weird. Anyway, the doctor's craggy, handsome face is distorted by a set of mismatched eyes. One is normal, the other is golf ball huge, and seems to gaze around on its own. 
Despite that, his expression is kind. Uh, I wouldn't call that a handsome face, but okay. Great, more gun-toting thugs. Just what this town needs. Are you here to help, or help yourselves? <laughs> I could just ask him if he has any cat litter. <laughs> that feels like a very inappropriate question right now. We're here to help. Well, if you're so inclined, I need a working microscope. That's the only way I'm going to find out the, how the worms are getting into these people's stomachs. The Manorites have one at their hospital, but I'm no longer welcome there. Let me mark it on your map. Damn, that's pretty far away. Okay. What do you know about the Manorites? <laughs> I used to be one, but we had a fallen out. What, did you become impolite? Did you not offer offer your seat to someone, or open the door and let them through? They didn't like that I swore and told people exactly what I thought. No bedside manner, they said. And they're selective about who they let in their hospital, too. Which amounts to deciding who deserves to live or die. Well, fuck that and fuck them. That's possum shit. Plain and simple. Alright. Um, how will a microscope help? Kind of already know the answer. These worms in their larval state are too small to see with the naked eye, so I can't search for them in the food, clothes, or dirt of the town. A microscope will help me find them. I hope. You seem to have a lot of patience. Uh, yep, Rody's being attacked by a parasite-borne sickness. Mm-hmm. Mostly farmers. Tell me about the sickness. Seem to affect the farmers more than anybody else. Right, collected samples, but he needs a microscope to examine them. Gotcha. The leather jerks are making more work for you. Between Obigan and Dangler in this sickness? Yes, indeed. Gun games and poxed hookers in the casino. Taking bullets at the bank. You won't be surprised that the incidence of venereal disease and bullet wounds have gone up alarmingly. Our beloved mayor has a lot to answer for. Though I guess he's paying the price. Wish someone would do something. I can say, why don't you do something? That's a dumb thing to say. He's a freaking doctor. What, is he going to pick up a gun and go get himself killed? So you blame the mayor too? Poor Sam was too trusting. He never imagined his peacekeepers were going to take over and hang him from his precious radio towers. A good example of why, wouldn't, of why one shouldn't trust strangers, stranger. Yes. What do you think of the casino? Okay, you don't like it. What about the bank? The bank has gone insane. Bullets is currency. Where's the sense in that? Damn fool spend a bullet to shoot somebody, then have to spend more bullets to get me to pull it out. You ask me, that dangler is behind this too. We traded scrap like everybody else until those leather jerks showed up. Anything you can tell me about the radio? Smashed it? Yep. I wish Virgil could get it up and running again. Then I could call around and see if anybody besides the Manorites has a microscope. Who's Virgil? Rodia's General Fix-It Man. Good with radio tech. If anyone could get our radio up and running again, it would be him. We're probably going to need to do some work for him first, though. Tell me about the hookers. Can't say I approve much of their trade, but they keep me in business. <laughs> Alright, he's probably not going to tell me anything new about Obigan or Dangler. Leader? Mm-hmm. Dangler's the brains, gotcha. Sneaky little devil with shifty eyes, yep. What do you think of Rodia? This could be a nice town if everybody just let us be. I guess life was too good here. People started wanting to take it from us. Okay, I know this is kind of weird, but, uh, you have any spare cat litter? I'm assuming you want this as a cure for radiation, not because you have cats at home. Well, I have some, but it's precious stuff. It would take some convincing for me to part with it. What would convince you? 
Well, helping me find a cure for these poor folks might do it. You do that, and I'll give you half the cat litter I got. Okay. You have any zeolite by any chance? <laughs> I wish. I'd love to have some of the medical grade stuff on hand, but Hollywood and those pistol packing priests up in Griffith Park snatched up most of it long ago. So I gotta make do with cat litter. But even that is getting scarce. Okay. Should I tell him why don't you do something? That seems kind of rude, but I guess I'll try it. Doing all I can right here, huh? Alright. Yeah, I just hope it's not something stupid and violent. Me too. I'm hoping I can solve this without killing the, the jerks, but then again, they are jerks, so maybe they kind of deserve to die? I mean, it's in their name. They self-identify as jerks. Alright, how you feeling, Tom? Oh my god, you look creepy. His face is gaunt and his eyes dull. Are my mom and dad still out there? Mm-hmm. I wish they'd go home. I told Dr. Horchata not to let him see me like this. I don't want him to catch the sickness. What, you don't want them to get down with the sickness? Ooh, ah, 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 ah. You think it's contagious? Maybe. It, it took my fiance. And the way I'm feeling right now, I wish it would take me. Dr. Horchata says I should have hope. But why do I want to go on when Lana's gone? Wait, you had a fiance, but your picture makes you look like you're like 13. But your model is of a full grown man. I, I don't understand. This is weird. What do you think of the doctor? like him? If anybody could save you, it's him. Okay. <laughs> can I do any doctoring on him? Nah, I can't just outright cure him? Okay. Fair enough. What about this guy? Let me guess, this guy is a, a two-year-old baby? Yes, I'm embarrassed. Fuck you. Embarrassed? Why? Oh, are you in here for a venereal disease? Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I just, re I just realized there's a text description here. This jerk isn't wearing any pants, and it looks like someone chewed him a new asshole. Literally. <laughs> what? What, ha what happened to his asshole? <laughs> okay. Sorry. I don't know if that's a venereal disease or what, but uh, I'm just going to go now. Come on, don't shoot him. Alright. Alright, how can I fix this without killing them? I mean, I might be able to get everybody cured before doing anything extreme if I go to the Mannerites. But is that going to make them go away? I don't, I don't see why that would. But maybe. You know, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to store medical supplies inside of the hospital. Empty cat litter bag. Oh. You tease. God damn it! <laughs> That's the description. Oh, you trolls. Earl! How you doing, Earl? This man walks with a sideways crab-walking limp. He looks 28, going on 100. 
Don't be waving guns around. Those leather jerks will cut you down in a heartbeat. What do you think of the leather jerks? Tell me how much you love them. A bunch of piss ants, but don't tell them I said so. They're killers, I tell you. And it's all the goddamn mayor's fault. <laughs> Seems like no one likes the mayor. That shit heel. Always talking, smiling, putting a positive spin on all the crap he's pulled. Well, the jerks are his worst idea yet. At least he's paying for it this time. Uh, I think I've already know the answers to all these questions, but... How's he paying? Got it hanging from the towers? Yep. Have you thought about doing something yourself? Uh, nope, nope, nope. Hmm. Me and my gun, and no ammunition. Right, what if I give them ammunition? Because I guess all their ammunition has been taken as currency. It's hard to get ammo here. It's all in the bank. Sure, they might, uh... They might make change for a clip here and there. But let a man get his bullets out all at once? No chance. Not even if your kid's got the sickness and you need to pay the doctor. That fucking gecko. He's in with the jerks big time. Gotta be. Gecko. He's the president of the Bank of Cordite. The man who switched our currency from common scrap to bullets. Criminal is what he is. Or is, is what it is. But everybody's too damn scared of the jerks to complain. With the sickness. Yep. Already know about the doctor. Whose idea was it? Yep. Alright. What is inside of here? A tidy little shack, sadly neglected. The flowers in the flower beds are dead. All the doors and windows are open, and ragged curtains blow in the breeze. Flies buzz in and out. A few small cracks bisect this old stone wall. Use a little force, and the wall should come down. Wait, the wall should come down? What? What, what old stone wall is that talking about? I... I don't know. I think it's talking about something completely different from the shack. Let's hope no jerks kill us for doing this. Ah, there's no jerks around anyway. What the fuck? Ugh. That's a little kid, isn't it? Two people and a baby lie on the floor. The woman holds the baby in her arms. The man holds the woman. It looks like a family portrait, except for the bullet hole in the heads of the man and the woman. The man has a pistol in his hand. What the hell happened here? There's bullets in the man and the woman. Did their kid die and then they just... Decided to shoot each other? He shot her and then shot himself? This little girl did not die from violence. It looks like she was sick. Yeah, their little girl died and then they killed themselves. Shit. Dried blood spatters the table, otherwise spotless surface. There's an open letter stuck to the blood. Can I read it? Hold on, get, get out of the way. It says there's an open letter stuck to the blood, but it doesn't... Uh, it doesn't seem like I can read it. Alright, I really need that microscope. This place looks like it was once part of a much bigger house, but the back half collapsed from neglect. Now it has an open plan and a nice back porch. Uh, 
Um, I don't know if he's going to like me coming inside. Hi. Okay, he doesn't care that I just lockpicked his door. Cool. These cards can predict the future. They're telling me I never win. Alright, bye. This house looks like it could fall apart any minute. Bits of scrap lumber are all that stop the roof from caving in. Oh, she... I thought she was dead for a second. I think... She's alive? I think she's alive. I'd like to be alone with my wife. Okay, this is probably where I'm going to go when we have the cure. If we get the cure. Listen up, people. Commander Obigan wants me to tell you that shortages in the warehouse will not be tolerated. Anyone caught skimming will be beat like a rug, then hung out to dry by the front gate. Thanks. <laughs> that thanks. It felt, oh, it felt so heartfelt. What a wonderful guy. Jesus, they're dying so fast they need an open burn pit for the bodies. You see charred limbs and bits of clothing as a large fire consumes them all. It smells awful. These bodies look diseased. They seem to have died recently, too. This man is throwing bodies into the fire. Stay back, strangers. You don't want to catch the sickness these people had. Why are you burning the bodies instead of burying them? I mean, I guess I already know the obvious answer. They don't want it to spread. Uh, I was worried the sickness would spread more if the bodies were left out, so we started burning. Yep, it's a good idea. Who are all these people? Folks who fell with the sickness. Two or three bodies every night. Any more information about the sickness? Don't know. Okay. Already know about the doctor. If that about doing something yourself, I'm no doctor. Yep. When did this happen? He tried to rob the bank? Got away with a handful of bullets? Hmm. Should I loot his body? I don't want to take that, that's weird. Hey Sandy. Don't want to talk to me? He doesn't want to talk. Alright, so that's the bank there. How big is this town? Oh my god, this town is actually really large. Is... Is that a misspelled traitor? Is that a T? I, I can't tell. Or, oh no, that's a, is that a C? Is that crater? I don't know. Whatever. Alright, that's where the mayor is, the radio towers. Let's keep going around here. <laughs> he just called the leather jerk a jerk. That's not even an insult to them. Didn't he say he's a toaster repairman? Yeah, I'm no farmer, I repair toasters. Well, do you? I could use your services, sir. Damn it. I want to recruit him. He's, he'd be way more useful than Lexcanium. Okay, I guess, uh, yeah, this is a crater. 
Interesting, why is there a crater here? How strange. Looks like they got some real nice crops. What's up, Jess? Wait, Jess? Jess? You're not the Jess, are you? Wasn't I supposed to get, like, Jess Bell's dowry? I probably don't even have that quest anymore. Nope. You're damned if I know where that quest is. There's too many here. Sturdy young woman with dreadlocks, tending to some weeds and a little vegetable patch. She looks annoyed by your presence. What do you want? Uh... According to the dialogue options, I suppose nothing. Dowry? Okay. I don't think that's the same person. That wouldn't really make any sense. Virgil! Here's a repair dude. My prize bull possum, Satan, has broken out of his pen again. Gotta find him before he tears somebody up. Hold your horses. Hold your possums. You have a prize bull possum. Named Satan, and you think it's going to tear people up. So you've unleashed Satan upon the world. Okay. Just, just wanted to be clear. You want us to save Satan? Please, he's the biggest, most ornery possum you ever saw. But he's also the best damn stud in this crater. And worth his weight in gold. I gotta get him back before one of the other farmers gets hurt, or guns him down in self-defense. Okay, we'll help you. Find him and herd him back this way, okay. I received possum snacks. <laughs> okay. You can get him moving by giving him some of these possum snacks. He loves them snacks. But if you harm or kill him, you and me are going to have words. I got too much invested in that old possum. Alright, any cat litter? Radiation, mm-hmm. Don't get much radiation so we don't hoard it. Dante might have some. He keeps cats to keep the rats away from his agave. <gasps> he keeps cats? Cats! I've been holding on to, uh... To catnip for, like, hours. Hours and hours of game time. I've had those for a damn long time. Maybe I can finally use it. Don't know who Dante is, though. Alright, where's the snacks? There we go. It is locked. Hmm. That's a pretty hard door. I wonder what's in there. Let me put on my lock picking thing. Uh where is that? I think I think Vulture's Cry has it, right? Yeah. I was going to keep the broken toy robot unequipped unless I needed it, right? Yeah, because the negative to charisma might affect me. Might affect me badly. Whereas I don't need the computer science, except for very specific circumstances. So yeah, let's actually leave that off. Uh, hold on. I've got to have a trinket that is just good. Even if it's not very good, something that's just good that I can equip on a Harper in general. I know I had something. Is it this? Yeah, okay, so plus two critical chance, that's good. Yeah, let's just do that. Ooh, 
It's the workshop. It's a trap. Quick mag, nice. Pinky finger, that's creepy. 1992 MIT glass ring. Plus one to kiss ass. Hmm. Who's my kiss ass? Um, that's, yeah, yeah Theodore's the kiss ass. Pazepi's the smart ass. Cool, cool, cool. Who did I have open that? Pazepi, I guess. Or at least that's who the most of the loot went to. I guess the loot is just randomly distributed for the most part. Okay, uh, quick mag. Do, do, do. What should I install that in? Minus to reload AP. Uh, that'd be good for the SMG, because the SMG uses a lot of ammunition. Right now it has the high capacity mag. Hmm. What's better? A larger magazine or a magazine that reloads faster? I don't know. I can't use it on shotguns, right? No. I think I'm just going to save it for now. And what do you currently have equipped? Plus one to leadership? Okay, I'll leave that on and then I guess I'll maybe use the plus one kiss ass in a conversation. The thing is, if I get to the point where I, you know, the, the current dialogue that I have requires kiss ass, I don't think I can just close out of it, stuff the ring on my finger, and then go back into the conversation. But, we'll see. So everything's agave, apparently. Do not listen to Dugan, Los Angeles. Do not let fear turn you into his slave. The future he envisions will never happen. And he will never rule it. For I and my children will burn his pathetic dreams to ashes in the blazing glory of our golden future. Dugan wants to enslave humanity. I want to save humanity. In my future, humans will be perfect beings. Immortal, invulnerable gods with gleaming metal. In Dugan's future, humanity will be uh. fuel for his forges. Bring him no offerings, Los Angeles. Worship not at his altar. He is a false god. And I, Matthias, shall cast him down. She, she didn't like the fact that I just stole her possums. I, I didn't even think about the fact that I'd be stealing. I mean, I've stolen people's dogs and they didn't care. Haven't I? I'm just going to load my game because I wasn't trying to steal something. I just wanted to exercise my animal whisperer skill. Whoops. I'll be right back. Okay, let's try this again. But uh, before that, let me just mention something that happened. So when I reloaded my save game, it was from right before I looted the safe. The one that had that class ring and all that stuff. And when I looted the safe again, it had completely different loot. And then I reloaded my game again, and it had, once again, completely different loot. So it turns out that, uh, when you loot at least that safe, maybe if you loot anything, the contents are actually randomized every single time. So, interesting to note. I suppose you could exploit that if you wanted to keep reloading until you got a certain item or something. Of course, I don't intend to do so. So I just got a bunch of junk from it, except for this, the Plasma Beamer. 
which is not very good. It's kind of it seems it's it seems like it's basically an SMG plasma gun, like an SMG energy weapon. It's okay, but it's not great. It does have more damage per AP compared to the Mason Cannon that Pazepi has, but I don't like the lack of range. So, I'm just going to stick with the Mason Cannon for now. I do need to replace that thing, though, because it's pretty terrible. Okay, let's save here. I'm not going to steal your possums. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to Pogo? Nope. No go, Pogo. An older woman, clothed in rags, her face deeply carved by wind and weather. She mumbles to herself as she works. Hmm. You don't look like our usual sort of jerks. Hope you're nicer than the ones we got now. Those jerks have left the poor mayor caged up on the towers for days. We don't know why they don't let him down, or just kill him. Somebody should do something. I think I already know the answers to all these questions, but let's just check. Towers, yep. Why do you think the jerks smashed the radios, trap us here? Yep. Mayor. Mayor's a fool, gotcha. He brought those jerks in as protection against the middle men. Yep. The robots. Jerks. Okay, this is actually interesting. So the sickness was not here before the jerks got here. It's quite a coincidence if it just happened to, you know, come on here when the jerks got here. I wonder what the connection could be. Would they make them sick on purpose? Seems doubtful, because they want them to work, right? So why would they want to kill the farmers that they want to work for them to make them money? That wouldn't make any sense. Alright, so you don't like farming agave? That's besides the point. The jerks think they're going to get rich selling tequila, so they've told everyone to grow agave. And agave ain't good for eating, only good for the still. Damn fools. How are all their field slaves going to work without any food in their bellies? We'll all be dead. And they'll be broke. So you're a possum farmer? I've been raising possums since I was younger than you. And thank the Lord for the appetites of that fat monster O'Biggin. The jerks haven't forced me to stop. He likes possum meat so much I'm selling him a cow every two days. He likes possum meat, huh? Could I perhaps give him poisoned possum meat or something? What do you think of Obigum? Obigin. Ain't right in the head? Yep. Mind like a child. What do you think of the doctor? Have you thought about doing something? Nope. Who's your husband? Uh, oh, he's a traveling gun salesman, Pistol Pete Peterson, he calls himself. He's out on a trip and I fear the worst has happened to him. Ah! We've seen him at Santa Fe Springs. He's alive and well. He's alive? Well, thank you, strangers. You've set my heart at ease. I feel like I can breathe for the first time in weeks. Well, you tell him if you see him that I'm still alive, too. Those jerks haven't killed me yet. Alright, so what's with these suspicious white possum? Poor thing. Not long for this world, I'm afraid. Named him Pogo, and I keep him as a pet. Sure, his shooting can't sell him. The cancer's got him and he'd poison anyone who ate him. Gives me someone to talk to, though, what with my husband being away and all. I'm sorry, what did you say about the cancer's got him and he'd poison anyone who ate him? And what did you say previously about Obigan liking to eat possum meat? Poison? Possum? Cancer? Pogo? Hmm. Sell Pogo to us. Butcher him and sell us the meat. What? You want to buy my little Pogo? For food? But I told you, he's poisonous. You'd kill anybody you fed him to. Yes, we want to buy him. We want Pogo steaks. Well? Well, he's gonna die soon anyway. I can't lie and say I don't need the money. Your total is five bullets. Giving her the crappiest ammunition possible. So 
Sorry, ma'am, but I'm a cheap ass. All right, strangers, wait here, and I'll get. I'll uh, have your meat for you. But don't say I didn't warn you. You eat them. It's your funeral. Give me your pogo. Aw. I'm sorry, pogo. Tainted possum steak. Bag it. And is that a beautiful bag of cat food? I mean, uh, cat litter? Would it be stealing if I took it? Uh, I'm gonna save first. I, I don't know if this is considered stealing. Okay. I guess we're fine. You still like me? Sure, okay. Okay. Well, I'm glad I went this route instead of just outright killing everybody. Because there's definitely some possible stuff I could do. Between getting the microscope and solving the plague and repairing the radio tower after I find the the ornery possum Satan and the possibility of poisoning Obigan with this cancerous pogo steak this all opens up a lot of possibilities so I think I'll end this episode here I hope you've enjoyed so far and I'll be back soon